Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is Saturday, and Saturday on this channel is my weekly weigh-in and the Weight Watchers weekly meeting topic of the week. It is the topic that they discuss at their workshops and on their Zoom. So if you're a Weight Watchers member and you have meetings, definitely should attend a Zoom if you can't get to a meeting. They're not my favorite, but I feel like it's better than nothing and definitely would recommend you trying it. So with that being said, I just heard from Timmy and, and my way in. So we'll get to that. Um, how was your week? My week was good. Um, I had Chinese twice. Well, it was ones and then leftovers. I had a hoagie. Peter brought me a hoagie for dinner. When your son says, can I bring you a hoagie? You're like, sure. We're having a sale of Primo. So I got a turkey, no cheese, no mayo, no oil with lettuce, tomato, and onion. Six inches. I mean, I feel that's a really good option. Um, again, to me, the cheese doesn't add that much, but points. It has a lot of points, but doesn't add, doesn't add to the flavor. I love the combination of the the oregano with the onions and lettuce and to me oh yeah that's a whole other story um what else did i have uh did we go back? no we didn't go way out at all so it was a pretty decent week eating um so my video i prepped some chicken on my vlog video um yes yeah, so it was actually a pretty good week eating i got a lot of protein in this week um, I've been really trying to work out a little bit harder during my glam squads. I was kind of slacking off with my back, but my back's been feeling really good. So I've been back to really kind of giving it my all at glam squad, which is good. And how do you like diabetic plan? That's what I was thinking. I like it. I don't know what it is. Again, something different. Maybe it's the number of the points that I get. And again, I don't eat a lot of fruit. I was forcing myself to eat fruit because it was zero points. I mean, I didn't hate it, but it's just not, I'd rather have something else. And now I have the points for something else if I wanted to have. And you know, have I, I mean, I've still had a couple pieces of fruit this week, but not every day. And that's my choice. Again, I'm not telling you to do this to not eat fruit. I'm just not a fruit lover, never have been. So it's not, it's not shocking that uh, I'm happy with it. Cause again, never a fruit lover. It's not an insult to anybody that likes fruit. And I hear, oh, fruit didn't get me fat. Well, when I was heavier, I ate everything. So at this weight, yeah, something like that could get me heavy if I eat too much of anything. My body's different than it was then. So yeah, little things like too much fruit, too much popcorn, eventually could add up to a negative thing. So yeah, your body isn't the same as it used to be. So, oh, Timmy, uh, he let me, he's not happy with his week. Um, he had a bad week last week, uh, but he did lose 0.2, which is what he gained last week, but he was hoping for a little bit more. So that's why he was a little bit disgusted. Um, so I'll have to have a talk with him. Um, he'll be home on Tuesday. So we'll have a little, we'll have a little revamp, I think. Maybe we'll film it, we'll see, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I always tell, you know, I worked out, I worked out, you can't add exercise a bad diet. We need to talk about that one, you know. But yeah, I, I said a loss is a loss, but he wanted more. Uh, don't we always want more? Oh, you know, story of our life. We always want more. I, I, you see, he's at the beginning of it all. Like, he'll learn. He'll underappreciate that stay in the same, that point two gain. Like, yeah. You know, he's, he's still, you know, he's still, you know, still got those, you know, rosy colored glasses on, but we'll, we'll rip them off real soon when he comes home. So how did I do this week? Well, um, I did get weighed a day early, so I wasn't sure how that was going to go. Um, you know, my week was okay. I've had two incredibly big losses in the last two weeks. I was, you know, thinking to myself, this is, you know, I would have been happy with a half pound gain. Honestly, when I took it on the scale, I'm sorry to report that I did lose again. <laughs> I, know. I was shocked. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, and I mean, we're getting weight on the Weight Watchers scale. So it goes right to my app. Um, it's it, 0.3. Shut the door, 0.3, and a day early. So I was like, wow. And that measures in, I guess, my scale only did 246. This one must do four or five, I guess. I don't know. So it said 0.3. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it and run with it. So I am happy to report that. Yeah, I'm shocked. Um, definitely a uh, change of plan always helps your, your mental capacity. You're, you're just making you think. Sometimes we just need to think and think outside the box. And I think that's what this plan is doing for me. Um, I can't say anything negative about this plan. I am enjoying it. So um, I, I, will I keep on it in December? 
I think I might. I think I might. This could be my love of Weight Watchers coming back. I don't know. It's just, it's, I'm very, very happy with, you know, I've been eating. You see what I eat. I eat three meals a day. I don't skip a meal. I don't do intermittent fasting. I learned, this is not a slam on the intermittent fasting people. It's not. But I learned, I tried it. I did try it a few weeks ago. And you starve all freaking morning to go to like, to get to that like 11 or 12. Like I was hungry. I wanted to eat. And then you, you can't possibly eat in that window all you're supposed to eat. I would have, I didn't eat enough. I'm like going, I only ate 850 calories. You can't shove all 1300 calories in an eight hours. It just doesn't work. And I read a few articles that said that, that, you know, there is the pros and there's the cons. You will get the articles that are pro for it. There will get the articles that are against it. I'm not here to, I'm just here to tell you for me, it doesn't work. I can't sit there and be hungry all morning and then have that window and try to stuff it all in. I, ha I hear people, oh, I eat less. Well, sure you do. Sure you eat less. If I had eight hours to eat, I would, I, I, of course I eat less. That's, that's obvious. But is it a sustainable lifestyle for me? No. Is it, a, a, is it me eating correctly? No. I, I was not eating enough. I can't live on 850 calories. That's like, that's just, so when I go to eat regular, say I'm on a vacation, you can't do intermittent fasting away when you're with people. So then what would happen? So I, yeah, I just, I, if you do it, you like it, that's wonderful. God love you. I hope you're eating enough. Me, I thought that this was like, why? And how do you eat the correct amount of food in that short window? Nope, not doing it. I'm like, no, this is, I'm tired of doing things that are tricks to lose weight. And let's, let's eat. Let's see, you know, you see 25 carbs a day. Let's eat in an eight hour window. That's a trick. That's not real life for me. So I am just trying to live my life, eat the foods I like in moderation and eat less, but eat the correct amount sustainably. So that's the only way that's going to work for me. And I hope that resonates with you. So let's get to the Weight Watchers weekly meeting topic, how to make tricky food decisions on the fly. <gasps> you know, I used to have a series called D on the fly where I would sit there and just come with food. It's how I do it. Like I have ground meat and I have these vegetables. What can I make with it? Yeah, I've done a few on the fly. I've got to go back to that. Next time you suddenly find yourself face to face with food you love, but didn't plan for it, use these steps to switch off autopilot and decide what to do. Because sometimes we just grab it. True. Try this, check with your points budget. Could you make room by eating a smaller portion using weeklies or leaving on those zero point foods later? Eating weeklies. Oh, there's, there's a concept people don't use enough. That's why they're there for emergencies like this. Then imagine how you'll feel an hour after eating the food. You think you might have regrets or feel uncomfortably full or unable to stay on track the rest of the day. That's an alarm bell. Like, don't let food feel, make you feel guilty. If you wanted it, eat it and don't feel bad about it. Just try to eat less. I mean, that's my takeaway is if it's something like that, just have some. Because if you don't have some, you're going to have more and you're going to feel uncomfortable and you're going to feel guilty. Think how you'll feel content and satisfied and be able to stay within your budget the rest of the day. Bon appetit. Like, I've learned to have a better relationship with food. I do not want food to make me feel bad. Food didn't make me gain weight. I did. I made the conscious choice to eat it. It didn't jump in my mouth. Like, oh, I love when people blame food. I, that just kills me. No, you ate it. You made the conscious choice to eat it. You have to make the conscious choice to have less of it at this point. Give yourself time. Try focusing on something else for five to 10 minutes. You can even pre-track the food with a plan to come back to it later. They always want you to give yourself time because we're in that hotbed moment where you're just like, and you just grab it. Walk away walk away give yourself a few minutes to think about it and sometimes you will find that you don't desire it as much because it's that initial you know you see this danish that you've never imagined possible and you just want to scarf it all down walk away come back and maybe say hey you want to split that honey and just have a piece of it give him the bigger half of course i always do that make your move do you still want to eat after waiting not really cool move on with your day or yes enjoy the food track it and move on track it and move on yes please you have to own your decisions not feel guilty about your decisions food should not be a guilt decision either you want it or you don't either you have the points for it 
the weeklies for it or you don't. If you're out of points and weeklies, then walk away because you don't have it. But if you're sitting there with points on the board with activity points sitting there, a full bed of weeklies, and you're sitting there saying no, you're on diet because you're denying yourself for no other reason that you don't, you're afraid to eat it. But if you have those points and you want some of that, but by golly, have a little bit. Maybe a friend surprises you with a, her famous dessert. You're out to eat and your sister orders her favorite app to share. The, the one you were going to skip in the favor of the cocktail. Even if you plan ahead on your budget, points like an all-star, you can anticipate, you can't anticipate every food or drink that pops up into your radar and throws your plans for a loop. You can't plan everything. Mm -mm. You can't, you can't. That's why I've learned that I can't plan everything and you don't really have to. You have to be able to learn to maneuver through it and make great decisions and be proud of those decisions. And sometimes you can have a little bit. Sometimes a little bit is better than none because if you don't have none, you're gonna sit there wanting it even more and then going for it in five minutes later because you've de de denied yourself. But you can't anticipate how you'll react. It's normal to automatically reach for tasty foods. Sometimes, you ever know that sometimes you just grab something and you're like chewing it and you're like, why did I just chew that? Why did I grab that? I didn't, I've, I've honestly spit stuff out because I'm like, it's just, it's an autopilot because you just, you, that's how you lived your whole life. And we have to learn that we have to stop, think and check before we can decide if we want to eat it and decide if we have enough room for it. But pausing and mindfully checking in with yourself and future you gives you a chance to more consciously choose how you'll react. Putting extra time and distance between you and the food helps too. It does. You have to step back. Because this is a whole new life for us. This is a whole new way of eating for us. And we have to give ourselves the opportunity to make a good choice. To get out of that hotbed moment. To walk away. To really think about it. If this is something you can't get and you really, really want it. Like I said, have some. You don't have to have all of it. See, that's the thing. Like, we're all or nothing. Well, how about some? That's a new, it's a new concept. We're used to, f f you know, finishing our plate of food. Why not having some, leave some on the plate, take it home for the next day. I mean, that, I mean, I, I remember the other, I was at the Olive Garden, I showed it on my video, how I could have finished it. It was in, within my points to finish it, but I didn't want it. I was not hungry. And I thought if I eat that, even though I had the points for it, I was going to be uncomfortably full and I didn't want to do that. So I decided to stop asked for a box, put it away, and saved it for lunch the next day. You know, and I had the points for it. It's just knowing that you don't eat the way you used to eat. And it's, it's, it takes a while to get there. It does. But it's, there's nothing wrong with you if you're not there yet. But you will get there. You have to mindfully make these choices. You have to stop and think. And you talk to yourself if that helps. I've talked to myself in public many times. Just talk. And sometimes hearing your voice say it. Like, yes, I could have some, or yes, I could wait. It's not going away. I'm not going to the electric chair. I don't need to eat everything in sight. Like that, seriously, people like eat like going to the electric chair. If you've seen people at buffets and they fill their plates up 15 times, like, are you going to the electric chair? You're not. You can go back to that buffet anytime you want. Why do you sit there and need to stuff yourself when you're there? Just eat mindfully, eat portions and enjoy it. In the end, you'll still make this in the end, you may still decide to eat the food that's more than okay. The goal isn't to swear off your favorites. We all know that doesn't work. Say it again, Weight Watchers. It doesn't work. It's, it is to notice the desire to eat, break the automatic reflex, instead of make a more informed decision. That alone is a win. It can help you stay on track for the long haul. You can't sit there and tell yourself, I don't want it. I don't need it because the mind wants it where the stomach doesn't. Um, that's why it's always good to never go somewhere hungry. That, that never helps. If you're going to these events and you're starving, you can't stop and think because you're in, you're in that hyper state where you just want to eat. So that's why I always say to you, never save points and go somewhere hungry. It doesn't work. It doesn't. You're not saving anything because you're going to eat twice as much. You're better off if you ate a little bit at home, you wouldn't have eaten much wherever you're going. Three fast facts. When face with food we love, our brains turn on and tend to stay focused on it. Like a dog with a bone. I know. Swearing off certain foods can backfire, often leading us to overeat them in the long run. And also, um, when you swear off things, that they're the ones you binge eat on. Allow yourself control discipline. That's why I love when I could find things 
in individual packs like nuts and cookies and chips because that's life i'm sorry i, I yeah you, you need snacks in life if you're not snacking then you're on a diet you truly are living life and being on a healthy lifestyle means you fit in those foods you have them in control and i think the easiest way to control is to have them individually pausing to make a conscious decision gives us a more controlled over what and how much we eat it's hard to weigh and measure when you're out because we don't have our scales and our measuring spoons some people do carry their own measuring spoons but you can judge a portion don't lie to yourself and say that's a cup when it's obviously two cups you're only lying to yourself you know, we lie to ourselves all the time. It's time to break the cycle of lying to ourselves and being honest. And like I said, have it. If you want it, have it. Have it. Just don't have all of it. And that is something you will find will keep you on plan because you're enjoying foods. Why do you think I make whoopie pies? Why do you think I make cookies? Because I want them. I'm not going to sit there and say, I don't need them. We don't eat like that anymore. I'll have it once a month. No, no. I have desserts and treats during the week because that's normal and I strive to be normal. I try to make my desserts lighter, smaller, and one and done's because yes, I made a cookie the other day on the vlog, a peanut butter cookie, an individual cookie for one point. I could have made that recipe make a dozen cookies, but seeing those cookies and saying to myself, well, they're only one point, Denise, you could have two. Then two would lead to three and three would lead to four and four would lead to five because it's only five points. No, I just want one cookie for one point. That is my treat. I enjoyed it and I moved on. And when you fit those things in, the whole world opens up and you get to enjoy life. You get to have that adult beverage. Don't be giving up alcohol. Just don't have a lot of it. I allow myself two drinks when, when we go out, two. I thought one would be not enough and two would be a nice number. And half the time I have one, but I'm allowed to have two because I'm on a lifestyle. I am not on a restricted diet. So I just want you to join me on this unrestricted lifestyle and learn that yes, we can eat. Yes, in control discipline. And yes, we can have foods that we love. And yes, we can have treats. I lost all my weight to eating like that. So it is possible. And I'm still back to losing eating this way. You see what I eat? I show you. I show you my treats, my cookies, my bars. I had a shake the other day because it was chocolate peanut butter. I have matcha lattes. I have almond milk. I prefer almond milk actually over milk. It's just, I like the flavor. I love having lattes because in life you have a latte. You know, I'm not sitting there drinking black coffee. Well, I don't like coffee anyway, but I mean like you can enjoy these things. We find ways to tweak them. And when you tweak them, it keeps you on plan. It does. So that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how your week went. How was, are you, I have a lot of people tell me they're on doing the diabetic plan. So let me know if you're considering trying it. Honestly, I think try it. You just never know. It's a Weight Watchers plan. It's all in the same wheelhouse. Definitely just a different way of approaching it. So let me know if you want to try the diabetic plan. How did your week went? Were you good? Were you bad? I always didn't use the word bad. Was it good? Was it a... Um, are you looking forward to Thanksgiving coming up? Are you worried about Thanksgiving? I know a lot of people worry about Thanksgiving. It's a big meal, but it is one meal. Think about it. It is one meal. So even if it was a bad meal, it is one meal. It is not a week. It is not a day. It is one meal. When you break it down to one meal, okay it's not as tragic as we like to think it is i think sometimes we use that excuse that it we could eat the whole week because it's thanksgiving thanksgiving is one meal remember that i'm going to ask you next saturday how your thanksgiving was um i'm not anticipating uh you know <laughs> you know eating different foods it, i who knows what the scale is gonna say but i'm not anticipating a big meal um turkey is great um i'll have my stuffing i'll have my vegetables I'll have my um, cranberry sauce, and I may even add a roll in there. We have shrimp for appetizers with stuffed mushrooms. So I, I eat those stuff. I mean, it's, it's you know, oh, I'm eating some stuffed mushrooms. I'm eating stuffing that's this big on a couple of mushrooms. The grand scheme of things, it's not bad. Um, way better than all Denise used to eat. So think about that. How did you eat Thanksgivings before you were on a weight loss journey? Oy. Oh, let's not talk about that. I'd have the big breakfast. I'd have 
probably twice as many mushrooms. Now I have a few and it's enough. Plus I'm so busy, I don't even think about eating. I'm, you know, I have to fit that in because I've got everything prepped. But I also have on the website, uh, not on the website, on the Facebook group, I have printables for Thanksgiving, a um, menu, a shopping list and a prep list. So if something that helps keep you a little bit organized, you can go print them up. They're in the files up at the top of the group. If you can't find them, let me know. That is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this topic and let me know how you did on the scale. Thanks for watching. If you've not yet hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish With D for realistic weight loss chit chat. That's what we do. We talk real life. I don't, I don't pussyfoot around. I don't pretend I'm on a diet. I eat real foods. I eat three meals a day. I eat snacks. I eat treats. And you can do it too. So that is it. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Share if you need somebody who needs a little bit of extra help. We are here to help. So I will dish with you another day. Have a great rest of your week and have a happy Thanksgiving if I don't talk to you.